I'm John Barker, AKA your grandma's favorite pit master, AKA daddy long legs. And today we're gonna compare the meter plus to the Meat Stick X. What's the best wireless probe from thermometer? As far as I can tell, these are kind of the two top dogs. So which one is best? Let's get to it and let's find out. Now, for the sake of all of fairness, we're only gonna compare apples to apples here. Now, obviously I have the Meter Plus with the four probes, so we're not gonna compare that to the fact that the Meter X, or sorry, the Meat Stick X only has one probe. We're gonna compare how does this probe and how do the apps work compared to this probe and this app. So we're gonna go one-on-one, -on -one, feature for feature, matching feature for matching feature. Uh, now, obviously, if you're looking for the onboard display and all that stuff, um, this guy right here is gonna work better for you, but it's like, three or $400, I don't know, we'll flash it on the screen. The price of this guy is gonna be much more compatible for a lot of budgets. So let's uh, put them up quality to quality, quality quality to quality and let's see what's, what we're working with. Now, for this test, we are gonna go two basic pork butts. I'm not gonna go into big detail on what I do with the pork butts because I've already done two pork butt videos, a basic and an intermediate. I'll link those and you guys can go check those out if you need help with that. So let's get our pork butts injected with just some regular apple juice. We're gonna season them with some skull and mortar and we're gonna throw them on the smoker at 300 degrees. We're gonna hot and fast. So in order to keep our uh, experiment here as consistent and fair and even as possible, I'm gonna do my best to insert the probe into roughly the same area of each butt. I know this one is bigger, it is what it is, right? So that being said, uh, we're also going to double check the probe thermometers of each. So when we hit a, a key temperature, like for instance 165, when we're gonna wrap it up in butcher paper, um, we are gonna test it with like a $20 probe thermometer I got from Kroger, uh, just to kind of see like where we're at in line with the temperatures. Like, uh, are they reading as accurate as possible? Now there's a, a chance that there's gonna be variation between the thermometers, but does everything make sense when you show it together as a whole? You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna do here. Uh, so first, let's get our meter in. Now, one thing I did forget to mention on the meter, you see this ring right here? This is where you want the probe to go into your meat. You want the rest of this out. Uh, this is the internal sensor, this is the external, which checks the ambient temperature. So you wanna keep it uh, right here. That's where you want the line of your meat to be as close to the center as possible. We got this at a slight angle, so that should be somewhere near the center of the pork butt. So with the meat stick, it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, you got the ceramic coating here, and you push this all the way into the pork butt uh, or whatever meat that you're cooking. So this entire piece here is the uh, the internal sensor, this is the external up here. So you want this entire thermometer in towards the center of your meat. So we're gonna push it back a little bit and kind of push it in so we're still towards the center. One thing I do like about this meat stick, straight out of the gate, look how sharp that is compared to how blunt the uh, meter is. So sometimes the meter can kind of be a pain in the ass to push into your meat. You gotta give it a little more force. This one should go in quite a bit smoother if I had to imagine. Yep, right on in take that all the way to the black coating. So these guys are ready to get on the smoker. We got our smokers fired up to 300 degrees and then we'll get back to setting up our blocks. Now, if I'm not mistaken about the meat stick X, all we have to do here is hit this button and it should turn on. The probe should connect to this unit. Now, if you don't have the probe uh, connected to this unit, I have to check this red blinking light. I'm not 100% sure what that means, uh, but I do know that it tells you in the app. So um, now I know that uh, if you do not have this unit connected to your probe, uh, you get about six feet of Bluetooth connectivity from the probe. This here ups it to about 260 feet. So that gives you a pretty long range as long as this is within six feet of the probe. Now, when we set up our meter, uh, what we do here is we hit the power button It'll boot up its, its uh, LCD screen here. And again, we, we're not gonna compare this. We're gonna go ahead and connect it to the Wi-Fi, which is nice uh, because the Wi-Fi allows us to keep dibs on our temperature wherever we're at. 
meter pro 4 here should connect at any time uh, it might take a second longer because it's actually in the smoker so now that we have both of these units turned on we're going to go set them on the smoker table and we're going to get to the apps yo this is a really dope feature i didn't even know about watch this watch this magnet that's pretty cool so you could stick that on the side of a table uh, or on your smoker really quick that's cool guys so i'm going to set up my meter for oh firmware update i'm going to skip that for now but i'm going to set up my meter first because i'm more familiar with it uh because i've been using it for quite some time at this point so uh, i'm going to pop over here i'm going to set up my temperature at uh, 165 so i know to, actually this is the temperature this is going to be my final cook temperature so i want it to be 205. Uh, then I'm going to go down and set an additional alarm for when the temperature raises above 165. Uh, and that's what I'm going to wrap. So easy, much like Terry's mom. I got the, the uh, phone muted, but it's fine. It's going to go off on my uh, watch anyway. So, All right, guys. So now we got our meat stick app going here. Um, so we're going to hit that button and make sure everything's connected. Uh, I don't have any problems here. Picked it up. Okay, so uh, the next option we have is the quick start. Uh, I have no pass cooks. It's the first time I've used it. The extender registered pretty quickly there. That's nice. That gives us that 260 feet. Uh, let's hit the quick start. And uh, obviously, we're going to cook it way past well done. Uh, that's what you do with pulled pork. Uh, let's just take a look here. Okay. All right. Easy enough. Um, so let's go ahead and hop over let's get our temperature set uh, and again so we need to set our target and, nope let me see here okay cool target internal we're going to set it to 205 as well because again we're pulling that pork uh, but i do want to set an alarm at 165 uh, let's see so we got an early warning alarm kind of click through a little bit of a tutorial uh, and then we're going to move that. We're not worried about the ambient temperatures, so we're just going to do the internal temperature up here. We're going to set it to 165, just like we did on the meter. Uh, that's the first time I've ever used it. Uh, pretty easy. Just takes a second to create the cook here. It shows you how to pop it in. Easy, quick, and easy to use. Uh, so, yeah, not, not any difficulty there. Guys, we're gonna have to be quick so we don't lose too much of the internal temperature. I'm pulling it a little bit early because I'm getting kind of tired. I want to take a quick nap. That being said, the internal temperature of the meter is currently at 159 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the meter out here. And we're going to insert this probe thermometer into the same hole. Hundred and fifty nine degrees. So that's two thermometers that say the same thing. Now let's check out our meter probe. So we're gonna go ahead and get oh my god, it's squirting juice everywhere. So we're gonna set that over here and we're gonna insert our thermometer right down in that same hole. And let's uh, pull it up over here in the meantime. Okay, so we have a temperature of 157. Now I have pulled that meter out, uh, but it did say on the app uh, 158. So again, we're right in that same ballpark. Good. So far, both thermometers are keeping a fairly accurate temperature. Now, just in the interest of keeping everything even as possible, I'm gonna switch their placement on the smoker now. So the meter, will, or I'm sorry, the meat stick will be here, the meter will be here. All right, guys, so our pork butts are up. We need to let them rest. We're gonna let them rest about 45 minutes, but before we do that, we're gonna check those internal temperatures against the test control thermometer. Okay, current internal temperature reads approximately 207 degrees Fahrenheit. And we got 209 degrees. So we did overshoot the uh, temperature that we were looking for a little bit, but we are in with, with we're within two degrees uh, between the pork butt and the control thermometer. So, okay, our meter plus currently reads at 204 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and pop that probe out. So 202 degrees. So again, we're within two degrees on both of them. So 202 degrees, uh, within two degrees. So it looks like, you know, as far as keeping the temperature goes, they're both pretty much the same. Uh, pretty accurate within two degrees. Um, and you know, it could be an issue with the control thermometer, who knows? But uh, I feel like that that's a pretty safe bet that you can say that both of these work pretty accurately. Guys, it is time for us to officially stinger splash this review into finality. So again, 
Is the Meat Stick X better than the meter? I guess it really depends on what you're looking at. To be honest with you, they matched up in temperature. Um, they matched up in cool factor, if that's what you're looking for. Um, the two things that I notice is one, I did not drop Bluetooth connectivity with this at all. I do drop Bluetooth with this uh, pretty regularly during a cook. It usually picks right back up, but it does happen. Uh, and I'm not talking about uh, from time to time. It happens all the time. It's kind of like Terry's mom. It's always dropping, but not panties. It's dropping Bluetooth connection. You know what I'm saying? That being said, um, the only real downfall I see to this here, and again, this is not an apples to apples comparison here because this is the uh, more fancy meter X block, right? Or meter plus block, I'm sorry. Is that this does have Wi-Fi connectivity without an additional sort of unit. So I can get Wi-Fi with this, but I gotta buy the additional unit, right? With this, it comes built in. This thing was almost $300, I think, when I bought it. I think it's like 260 or 270 now. This thing here is 100. So if I'm comparing this to the equal version of this, uh, it also does not have Wi-Fi connectivity built into it. So we're going to apples to apples. We're looking at price, right? They're both $100, not this version, this version of the meter, the single pro meter, also $100. Um, you know, as far as temperature goes, they were on point with each other. They were all both within a couple degrees, uh, usually one or dead on. Um, and they also, uh, both were great as far as I can tell overall. So um, if I'm going to have to say one over the other, I'm probably going to go with the Meat Stick X. And this is why. The single version of the meter probe gets you about 100 uh, feet, 100, I think it was 130 feet. It's 100 something feet uh, with the block extender. This goes over 200 feet. Uh, I think it said 260 feet, up to 260 feet. That's a big difference. So for me, for the money, I'm gonna say probably the Meat Stick X. And the good thing is, is if you buy this Meat Stick X, uh, you can add the Wi-Fi extender on later. Um, so you're not gonna have to go buy a whole nother unit. They do just come in single units. So if you're looking for four probes, you're gonna be looking at quite a bit more with the Meat, uh, the meat Stick uh, X, unless they offer some sort of discount per quantity. But uh, that's it. It just comes down to uh, Bluetooth range and this bad boy gets it. Otherwise, they're pretty evenly matched. I'm gonna go with the Meat Stick X. I know I keep messing up the name. I'm gonna go with the Meat Stick X. Uh, both of these are gonna be linked down below. They're both great tools. It's up to you which one's gonna fit your budget and uh, your needs better. For me, I love the multiple probes because I do huge cooks. I cook tons of stuff at once. This is gonna stay in the regular rotation. I love this device. I think it's awesome. Um, but yeah, those are the pros and the cons. There's not really a whole lot of cons to either one. So I guess we gotta taste it, right? We can't not taste it. I mean, I know it's not technically a recipe video, but <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Well, I'm pretty good at this. Yeah, I am. That's good. Well, I know what I'm having for dinner.